Today we're going to be demonstrating how to convert the mechanical controller on a P1 PD series pump. Uh, we'll be working with the latest BMOD version of the control, uh, which has been updated and improved versus the uh, previous AMOD controls. Uh, these latest controls have the ability to be quickly and easily modified to fit your customer's application, and uh, they're no longer rotation dependent like the previous AMOD version. Uh, to complete these conversions, you'll need only a few items. Uh, you're going to need, obviously, the base control. Uh, you're going to need the service manual, which is located online. Uh, you're going to need the corresponding conversion kits. And you're going to need uh, SA wrenches, uh, SA Allen hex keys, and torque control or torque torque wrench. Okay, I'm going to be showing you how to take a basic C0 control, so this is the pressure compensated control, and convert that into the AM control, which is the remote pressure compensated control. Uh, to do that, you're going to need two kits. You're going to need the S2E 20463-5 K kit, and the S2E 20464-0 K kit. Inside each of these kits, you're going to have two different components. You're going to have your mechanical components needed to perform the conversion, but then you also have different instructions for how to convert from one control to another. So we're going to look through these instructions until you find a set of instructions that applies the specific conversion that you're performing. So in this instance, we're performing, we are going from a C0 control to an AM. So that's in both kits, so we'll just get the components in both of these kits. Um, there's instructions that we've already gone through, so we already have the set of instructions. And there's the other mechanical components required. So off to the left, we're going to look at all the different items we need to remove. So the first thing we need to remove is a plug on the back side of the compensator using a 2 millimeter Allen. So we're going to get in there and remove this plug. So the vent port would be connected here for your remote pressure control. Um, I'm just going to leave it in because I don't need to open that cavity to add anything to this kit. Uh, next, I also need to remove a plug that's actually inside of the pressure compensator stage. So we're going to use an inch and a quarter wrench and you will remove the pressure compensator stage. I've already got loose for our purposes here. We'll set pressure compensator stage to the side. Then using a two and a half millimeter Allen, we're going to remove a plug down in the body. And there's actually uh, two holes off to the side. One is has no plug, the other has a plug in it. That is the one that we are going to be removing. So we'll take that plug out. plug that we removed. Then also we're going to be removing the differential stage plug. And you'll use you remove that using a 5 16 out. So now we have removed all of the different items. With everything removed we can now look to what we need to add. So the first thing I want to add is this item 12 here. Uh, which is an orifice. It is in with the differential spool. There's a differential spool. And there's a couple of different size uh, sizes of plug. There's a, there's a plug and an orifice in here. 
um, a plug we're not necessarily going to need. Uh, this kit gets used in some other places, so it's just an extra part. Uh, but we will use you know, the same two and a half millimeter Allen to put this orifice down in the hole inside the pressure compensator stage, uh, the pressure compensator adjustment um, to replace the plug that we just removed. So with that in, you'll tighten it to the specifications in the catalog, or excuse me, in the service catalog. And with that, we no longer have to do anything in this portion of the control. So we're going to reinsert the pressure compensator stage, or excuse me, the pressure compensator adjustment, holding it vertically, turn the body over. That way we can insert it without having to worry about any items moving out of position. And then you'll tighten that to the specifications in the service catalog. So now we can look here at the other components uh, needed to be added in the differential stage. So we've got obviously uh, the differential spool that needs to be added. And this is the differential pressure adjustment assembly. So this is the spool seat. The small spring sits in the center, and the larger spring sits over top of it. And they both set down or set into the pressure adjustment like so. And just like we did with the compensator pressure adjustment, you will insert that into the body after we insert the differential spool. And to insert the differential spool, we insert it with the flat end first to the body, and it should just fall right into place without any resistance. Now, we'll take the differential pressure adjustment, insert the body onto it so we don't move anything out of position. Tighten the differential adjustment down to the factory catalog specifications. And the only thing left to do now is mount it onto a pump and set your pressures. So with the correct kit and a little time, it's easy to convert any of the P1 PD B mod controls to any one of the other available options. This flexibility adds to the pump ability to meet your customer's demand quickly and efficiently. Thank you for watching.